Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajaya TV. Scholarly meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Qom, Iran. The House of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Qom hosted another session of his scholarly meetings. These meetings are attended by various groups of seminarians, clerics, and scholars who ask their questions from the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. The questions in the latest round of these meetings revolved around secondary rulings in certain situations, rulings on property that is suspected of being haram, permissible distance in congregational prayers, burial site of Habib bin Mazahir, the difference between kufr and apostasy, etc. Furthermore, in this meeting, one of the scholars asked the following question from his eminence. What is the ruling on performing prayers in the courtyard or sanctuary of Imam Hussein's shrine in a way that the worshipper's back is facing the blessed grave? Additionally, what is the ruling on burying someone in the location in front of the grave of an infallible imam? In response to this question, the esteemed religious authority stated, There is evidence that it is not permissible to perform prayers in front of the grave of an imam or next to it. The imam is not to be preceded nor equaled. However, if one is praying in the courtyard or sanctuary, there is a reason for deviating from that practice, so there is no problem with it. Regarding the burial of someone in a location in front of the grave of an infallible imam, although we do not have a specific narration on this matter, we consider it disrespectful and not permissible, unless there is a wall or something similar that acts as a barrier and prevents the act of precedence. The dear viewers can tune in these scholarly meetings every day at 11.15 a.m. home local time, live on Majayat TV and other Shia TV networks, as well as the Al Shirazi application. Manager of Center of Islamic Studies meets Sayyid Hussein Shirazi in Holy Qom, Iran. Sheikh Kemal Maash, the representative of the Fiqh Center of Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Reza Shirazi, may his soul rest in peace, visited the residence of the esteemed Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussein Shirazi in the holy city of Qom and met with the Grand Juror's son, Sayyid Hussein Shirazi. During the meeting, the two parties discussed the importance of religious and cultural activities, attention to the youth, and the fight against cultural invasions. The first center of Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Reza Shirazi is one of the institutions affiliated with the religious authority where religious and seminary sciences are taught to women. General Union of Religious Processions of Baghdad celebrate Eid al-Ghadir. On Friday, 17th of Dilhajah, 1444, a magnificent ceremony was held in Tahrir Square in Baghdad to commemorate the Ghadir Day by the General Union of Baghdad Religious Processions. This grand event was attended by a large crowd of Shia believers and followers of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them, especially the distinguished scholars, religious, cultural and social figures, and Iraqi tribal leaders. Sayyid Ali Talagani, the eulogist of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them, Hussein Wali Allami, and Saif al Atwani, as well as the poets of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them, Rafat al Safi and Ihab al Maliki, performed programs and expressed virtues and merits of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, through his speeches, recitations of poetry, and eulogies. This joyful gathering was broadcast live by several satellite networks, including the al Shar TV and Najaf TV. Haji Nasir al-Shamhani, the president of the General Union of Baghdad Religious Processions, made a public address and conveyed the greetings and prayers of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sara Husseini Shirazi, and recounted some of his statements regarding the significance of promoting Ghadir and the responsibilities of the believers on this great Islamic occasion. The Najaf Center for Strategic Studies and Ghasrul Zahra Husseiniya also collaborated in organizing this event. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi drills third water well in Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan. The office of the esteemed Ayatollah Sayyid Sara Husseini Shirazi in Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan, has undertaken a new initiative to provide clean drinking water for the people of Afghanistan. According to reports, the third deep water well for drinking water was inaugurated by this office in collaboration with Ms. Bal Hussein Foundation, an institution affiliated with the religious authority in Karbala, in the Aliabad area of Mazar Sharif, coinciding with the Eid al Ghadir of 1444 AH. The IHC organization in London and the Imam Hussein Media Group also contributed to this noble initiative. It is worth mentioning that a few months ago, 
On the auspicious occasion of the birth anniversary of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, on the 13th of Rajab, a deep water well with a depth of over 120 meters and a reservoir covering an area of more than 30,000 square meters was inaugurated in the mosque of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, to provide drinking water to the needy households in Mazar Sharif. Representative of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi delivers a speech among Shias in Kuwait. Sheikh Yusuf Mullah Hadi, the representative and attorney of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi in Kuwait, delivered a speech in the presence of a dozens of Shia Muslims in this country. He addressed the audience on Friday coinciding with the Eid al-Ghadir of 1444 AH at the Imamain al-Qadim wal-Hadi Mosque, where he spoke about the significance of this occasion. The representative of the religious authority also condemned the disrespectful act of burning the Holy Quran in Sweden during his remarks. al sadiq Fatima Center holds ceremony to celebrate Eid al-Ghadir in Baghdad. The al sadiq Fatima Center, one of the institutions affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Baghdad, organized a street celebration in this city. This joyful event was held to commemorate the anniversary of the arrival of the Eid al-Ghadir of 1444 AH, the Eid of the Guardianship and MMA, in collaboration with the Baghdad Community Council. Hundreds of Shia Muslims and devotees of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them participated in this celebration. The attendees took to the streets of Baghdad, expressing their joy through poetry recitation and eulogies in praise of the Amir of the Believers, Imam Ali peace be upon him. Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center celebrates Eid al-Ghadir in Baghdad, Iraq. The Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center, one of the institutions affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Baghdad, held its second celebration in honor of the days of Eid al-Ghadir of 1444 AH. Dozens of young people and faithful individuals from the city of Baghdad participated in this event. Together with the eulogists of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them, they expressed the virtues and merits of the Master of the Pious, Imam Ali peace be upon him, through poetry recitation and eulogies. Ahlul Bayt Center runs the special activities to honor Eid al-Ghadir in Madagascar. The Ahlul Bayt Center, one of the institutions affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the city of Mahajanga, Madagascar, celebrated the arrival of the days of the Eid al-Wilaya and MM8, Eid al-Ghadir Khom, by organizing a festive ceremony. This event took place on Friday, 18th of Dil Hajjah, 1444 AH, and it was attended by dozens of students and scholars of this center. They gathered to express the virtues and merits of the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali, peace be upon him. During the ceremony, the students and scholars of the Ahlul Bayt Center were honored with gifts. Additionally, the members of this center visited the graves and mausoleums of the faithful and Shia believers on this significant day, seeking mercy and forgiveness from the Almighty for them. Feeding a group of Shia youth was also among the activities carried out by this center on the day of Eid al-Ghadir of 1444 AH. Omal Benin Institute runs educational programs in five districts of Basra province, Iraq. The Omal Benin Institute, one of the institutions affiliated with the al Shar TV network, continues to conduct its educational classes in the five districts of Basra province, Iraq. These educational classes, which are held in accordance with the recommendations of the religious authority, emphasizing the importance of providing religious education to children, are held on a weekly basis. These classes focus on teaching the Holy Quran, ethical values, and theological lessons. Rasul Adam Institute honors Eid al-Ghadir in Holy Kazimain, Iraq. Rasul Adam Cultural and Charitable Institute, one of the institutions affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Kazimain, held its annual celebration on the occasion of the arrival of the Eid al-Ghadir Khom. This ceremony took place on Friday, 17th of Dil Hajjah, 1444 AH, and featured recitations of poetry and eulogies by several poets and eulogists of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. Dozens of believers attended this event, rejoicing and celebrating the great festival in Islam. Activities by Faisal Batul Institute in Sugh Shukh district of Baghdad, Iraq. The officials and members of the Faisal Batul Institute, one of the institutions affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Sugh Shukh district of Baghdad, conducted a humanitarian visit to the local general hospital. This initiative took place on the occasion of the anniversary of Eid al-Ghadir. During the visit, the mentioned delegation not only visited the patients, but also held meetings and discussions with the hospital's officials and staff. 
Furthermore, the hospital director expressed appreciation for the activities of the institutions affiliated with the office of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hossein Shirazi and requested their collaboration in completing the construction of the emergency department, which has remained incomplete since 2014. The Faisal Batul Institute also expressed gratitude to the Zigar Oil Company for their cooperation in establishing a medical center in the Sugh district. <laughs>